Hello, everybody. This is me as a child with soldiers playing with me. They were guarding the train station where I grew up. 1961, when I was born, there were violent bombings in my country to force Italy to give back the mainly German-speaking country, South Tyrol, to Austria, since it had been part of the Austrian monarchy till 1918. Uh, that failed, but the country, after a decade of terror and difficult negotiations, finally got autonomy, which is now considered a model for ethnic conflict areas. My parents came from an Italian and a German family. As the last born, I was given the name Hans Karl, Hans by my Italian grandfather Giovanni and Karl by the German one. So never call me only Hans or only Karl because my name is a peace project. I spent the first half of my life to study the history of my country. From this, my interest has opened up to the overarching question of what we can do for a more peaceful and more just world. Carinzia, uh, in Austria, where I now work, is also located on a long conflicted border, namely with Slovenia. I meet astonished eyes here when I tell the Slovenian minority what rights South Tyrol enjoys in Italy. But I have also learned how the Slovenian minority turns it, its weakness into a strength, for instance, uh, through innovative bilingual school models. The strong German minority in South Tyrol has their own German schools, but at the same time, bilingualism is declining because in the monolingual schools, the second language Italian is only taught to a limited extent. Thus, um, a wealth is given away. Both border areas are now ch challenged by migration. And the new question is how to protect diversity, how to understand diversity when it's no longer about uh, two languages or two cultures, but dozens. So the new inspiration is, it's simply not enough to create a small uh, intact piece of world like my South Tyrol, like the beautiful Carinthia. When outside the world is sick, migrants, for instance, are messengers of the repressed true that European wealth has been accumulated to colonization, outsourcing of conflicts to proxy wars for which we supply the weapons, uh, outsourcing of production in cheap countries, and so on, even outsourcing of the refugee crisis by paying money to states like Turkey to get rid of the problem in an inhuman way. The illusion of the nation state that it can create a happy world inside at the expense of the outside will burst. Corona and climate change are witnesses to this. So my inspiration is more an urgent question. How can we raise awareness that the best way for us to survive in this world together is to work together as citizens of the earth. Thank you very much.